One rule of trade is that in order to generate a profit, you need to buy low and sell high. Libertarians need to learn to use this principle when developing a strategy for the spread of our philosophy. Selling liberty to people who live in a comfortable Western nation with virtually no sense of the downfalls of politics can be quite the uphill battle. It's like telling someone sleeping in a craftmatic bed that they're uncomfortable. What we need to do is seek out people who are truly suffering under the effects of big government, help them out in their situation, and then educate them on how to prevent this from happening ever again. Libertarians invest tons of money in books, billboards, ads on Google, and other platforms to spread the liberty message, spending millions of dollars annually. Although this effort has significant effects, the majority falls on deaf ears who could only open their eyes when staring down the barrel of an M16. The fight for liberty is not a local but a global one, and the people who need our help the most are not the trolls we try so desperately to convince on YouTube. For less than $2 a day, we could save someone's life, educate them, and help them reach their full potential as human beings. This is not a charity, but a business venture. Why are we not creating communities where they are needed most, designed to give human beings a second chance of life when all governments have failed them? In that time period, we could teach them how to feed themselves and how to organize as a community to become profitable and most of all sustainable. A million dollar investment could work to establish a safe haven with the funds and capacity to jumpstart such a project. But are we willing to act or do we just want to keep arguing with people who don't care for our message? Thanks for listening. Please like, subscribe, and share for more thought-provoking content.